a very warm welcome to this World Game Changers podcast, where your host, Paul D. Lowe, embraces many crucial conversations that compassionately contribute towards creating a better life and world. Paul's intention is very simple, to help get people's inspirational insights and motivational messages out into the world so others may benefit. Hello listeners and welcome to this World Game Changes podcast episode. Today we have a returning guest, uh, a lady that is based in the south of England by the name of Rebecca Wheel. Rebecca, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for having me on again. And what we thought we'd talk about, or more to the point what Rebecca's going to talk to us about, is the importance of torch under this health-related podcast episode. Now that's a big that's a big uh, banner, Rebecca. Where do we start with that? Yeah, so um, I've I've been thinking about this a lot recently, just in in my life, um, having trained as a massage therapist. So touch has kind of um, really been highlighted uh, to me about um, you know what what is touch because touch comes in all sorts of different forms, doesn't it? So you've got physical touch you've got um uh you know uh energetic uh t- you know connecting with someone energetically you've got touching um yeah i guess i guess those are the two main you know in the physical realm and also in the energetic realm um so we can kind of touch people's lives in many different ways um but it was interesting with the massage because um you know, even at the beginning when we were learning it and um, we were kind of, you know, at, at the very start of the course, we weren't, you know, obviously very good because we're just starting a massage, learning all the different techniques. And um, what we all kind of remarked, what I really picked up on is that even though we we weren't very good at massage, just being touched was really, you know, just that touch, that human connection really did something, you know, it, it was, it's, um it didn't matter how you know good the massage was or what the techniques were but just that touch so yeah that's something that i think is really important and um i think maybe we've lost track of that a bit in society now it you know that just that kind of that touch that connection it is connection isn't it and and the question that i get asked often you see i think people are always looking for that silver bullet, that kind of systematic approach to how do we solve life's problems? How mm. do you get me away from this pain? Mm. You know, this kind of almost one plus one equals two solution or well, one size fits all. And I mentioned that in the context, Rebecca, of is there a kind of priority? You know, you've mentioned two sort of contrasting, in my humble opinion, approaches to connection there one is the physical that literally the hands-on yeah and the other one is that we really touch people inside in a way that we can't we can't describe I mean is there a kind of hierarchy is one more important than the other or do they kind of just stand alone but yet paradoxically are entwined Mm. I think you've hit the nail on the head there at the end there about them being entwined I think that's uh you know because the the touch the physical touch then sparks a, uh, a a a connection on an energetic level as well so that kind of um they, i think they 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 are intertwined very much um and i don't think that there's one more important than the other and i think it's one of those we talk a lot about the yin and yang and i i think mm. it's a lot about you know a very similar kind of idea about that you know yin and yang and um, they're very, very different uh, on the outset, but actually they flow together um, and they kind of feed the other one as well. Yeah, yeah. What got you into this uh, this mass- massage uh, aspect of things? What was the what was the attraction? Mm. You know, I've always in our family growing up, we've always done massage on each other. And it's been such a really lovely bonding uh, thing for our family. And, um, and, and I've always felt drawn to it. I've always felt um, I've really enjoyed giving massage. I've really enjoyed that hands-on helping someone. And um, 
there's a, a, an element of the healing part of it that I'm really, really drawn to. And um, and it, in the last kind of, uh, you know, five or so years of my life, I've, I've kind of landed, not really on purposely, but I've just kind of landed in um, health and wellbeing sector. Um, so I've kind of, uh, I've been, you know, just receptionist, things like that on, on um uh, at different, uh, you know, different different roles um, and different uh, job job places, but it, it's it's kind of been in the um, yeah in the health and well being area, and um, and so just gradually through through that really, I've kind of come to a place of uh, the opportunity was there to, to learn massage. I currently work at a spa, um, and um, so the opportunity was presented and yeah immediately I just kind of knew that that was something I wanted to do because you know I've always had that interest and and, and I think the the thing that interests me the most is the is the healing um part of it mm. and um sharing that space and and really it's a it's a it, and that quietness as well you know because it's a, it's just um it's something that's done where there's you know there's there's no there's no words there's no talking there's no um it's it's about the feel completely about the feeling and that also really interests me you know it's in the feeling realm fully um mm. okay so the other thing um that you've been training to to do or become is is a coach isn't it a life coach yeah yeah what was coming through to me there is there's actually a very very strong parallel between the two yes one's physical hands on mm. touching you know touching the flesh so to speak yeah but the other one actually is exactly the same but because you're touching the mind mm. yeah yeah and you know it, that also when i was talking i was thinking about the life coaching it kind of came came up for me as well so um yes i think that is it's really interesting because they are both they're both um connection and they're both touching people but in different in that different way and uh so there's yeah there's a very interesting parallel between between the two mm. can you remember when and listeners i've spoke about this many 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 times before on on various episodes but can you remember rebecca when we um when we spoke about the semp model yeah the semp triangle yes yes yeah yeah let's just go through that because what's coming through t to me here so listeners just a quick sort of recap on the the semp model so if you imagine a triangle split into four four equal parts at the bottom on the base you've got the physical the p and then moving up you've got the m the mental the mindset moving up to the next level you've got the emotional and right at the top of that triangle you've got the spirit angle mm. any thoughts around have you ever been conscious about the work you do which is essentially the importance of touch and how that actually intertwines or not as the case may be i don't want to pre-frame this with that higher you know that hierarchy of semp any mm. thoughts yes yeah, it's, it's interesting the semp because obviously you've got the spiritual at the top but actually the spiritual is a it's 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 um the smallest part but it's actually paradoxically the the, the biggest because it underpins everything mm. and um so yeah it's it's interesting to think about that that triangle in relation to those um and I, yeah i do think it's uh it's ever present ever present but then also that the physical is always it is also ever present as well um mm. and and the mind um so yeah i wonder if there's you know because i feel like with the semp um you know that triangle is there a case for 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 perhaps it to be a circle and they it's like a kind of you know um a circle because they kind of they they are so intertwined 
but um and they they are all present but in our lives you know on this in this life at the moment the spiritual kind of transcends so we've got the the physical and the and the mental um you know that that's that they're quite the foundation they're they're a lot of substance um I don't know if substance is the right word but you know what i mean <laughs> i do yeah i do yeah yeah and and i think there's a greater th- um a greater thing at play here because you know listen no matter how we conceptualize a model and and from my masculine energy and as the creator of that sem- triangle it has a masculine bias it's mm. systematic it's almost process driven interesting but the reality is it's not and yep. that brings in the more feminine energy of what you've suggested well why can't it be more free flowing and a circle because it absolutely can mm. Mm. You know, but the the point of all this really is, uh, and this is, I think, a great lesson for life, that there isn't a right, there isn't a wrong, there isn't a one size fits all. We will enjoy life in a model that suits us or not, as the case may be. So Mm. we adopt that model within our own energy, our own focus, our own awareness. And then we have conversations like this. And just by the fact that we are... I'll play a little bit of devil's advocate here. Coming at this from a a polarised perspective in terms of masculine and feminine energies, one's kind of hierarchical in a triangle, the other's very free-flowing and feminine and beautiful and gentle. You know, which one's right? Neither and both. Mm. Perception is all there is. Because the key point, though, we're raising awareness by this, you know, having this conversation And you, listeners, you'll decide what's right for you. If indeed the model's even right for you, it might be, no, I don't get that, don't want it, does nothing for me, and that's absolutely fine. But this is the whole part, or whole part, even the whole point of having a dance and a conversation like this, isn't it? To, you know, home in on something and swap ideas and thoughts and energies and, you know, it touches things within us which, you know, Maybe in a former life, my ego would have defended. No, Rebecca, you're wrong. It's definitely this. And, you know, you know, don't dis- don't distort it, girl. Don't distill it because this is the model. And that's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> it brings in all this kind of stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, I think we can all relate to that, you know. And, um, you know, even from growing up in school and, 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 and we're, we're kind of taught these things. Uh, this is the way things are and it's kind of fixed and it's a really important uh, point that you raise about that fluidity and about that flexibility Mm. and uh, not just kind of, you know, um, just because something says that this is what it is, you know, we don't have to just automatically go with that, you know, question things and, 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 and dance with it. You know, that's the perfect word for it. Dance with it, Um, play with it, you know, otherwise we're confined to these kind of ways of being, which may be great. They may serve us, they may, but they may not. And Mm. um, to have that kind of consciousness about that and to, to kind of, you know, have that dance and um, push those, push those edges a little bit, you know. Yeah. As I call it, kiss the sun and touch the moon. Yeah. 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 (laughs) And And a great way to remember this, I think, listeners, when we get bogged down in our own self-righteous, human, ego-driven, no, I will be right over this, you know, particularly when emotions step in, maybe just a simple way to remember this is if two people are standing opposite each other and one of them chalks a number nine or a number six between them and he or she will adamantly assert this is a six Say, you know, okay, so let me own the six then. So you and I are standing opposite, Rebecca, and I'm chalking a six between us. So I'm seeing a six. Mm. You're not seeing a six. You're seeing a nine. Mm. Who's right and who's wrong? Neither and both. Mm -hmm. That's a brilliant, brilliant metaphor for that because it really just paints that picture of, you know, it's, it's the the angle of where we are looking at something from and the perspective. Um, So to have that more kind of holistic, if you like, view 
to really, you know, change that angle or, or um, at least just know that we are experiencing life uh, from ourselves. Uh, you know, that that is the place in which we are um, looking at things from all the time. So, mm. you know, we're, there are going to be times where we, we will all the time we're seeing things differently. And so to, to be able to kind of bringing it back to that kind of touch and, you know, that connection, the connection with others and having that open mind to be able to dance with, you know, what are you seeing and what am I seeing? And, oh, okay, what does that mean? And, um, mm. yeah. I suppose, and this, I want to pull it towards a close here, Rebecca, but this really nicely lays a foundation for a follow-up episode. It does. The importance of touch to ourself. Mm. It's all very well touching others' lives. Mm. What about our own? Just mm. hold that thought. And on that note, listeners, I just want to invite Rebecca in to share her contact details, how you can reach out to her, connect with her, let her touch your lives, as I'm sure you will touch hers. What's your best contact details, Rebecca? Thank you so much. So the best way to contact me is probably through my website. So it's rebeccawheel.com. Uh, and on there, you've got um, my Instagram, um, uh, my contact details, so my, my emails on there. And um, uh, yeah, I've got kind of my, my portfolio of um, different artworks and designs and things like that. So there we go. There we go. So just hold that thought, listeners, the importance of touch brackets to ourselves i feel another episode coming on and on that note i sign off the way i always do by saying remember the world's changing how will you respond thanks very much for listening to this world game changers podcast episode hopefully you found it interesting and helpful drop a line to paul at worldgamechangers.org with any thoughts or questions you may have, and he'll be more than happy to respond. Remember, the world is changing. How will you respond? <laughs>